Hi there, Uncle Laurie here with another video. Today we're doing a non-shaving shaving video. I've been requested to do another video on setting a knot. So, I've just received my new handle from Fuko. I'll just show you the handle. It's a lovely handle, beautiful. It's got a pine cone embedded in some resin. Lovely handle. And it's got a, a hole suitable for a 26 millimeter knot. So the knot we're gonna put in there is from AP Shave. You see 26 millimeter AP Shave uh, cashmere knot. We'll need some glue. So I use silicon glue. I use silicon glue rather than epoxy because if you make any mistakes, uh, epoxy is pretty hard to uh, fix up. If you're silicon, you can basically get it out pretty easily. Um, you also, if you like to uh, set the knot a bit higher, you'll need some spacers. I use nylon washers. This is the uh, M8 mudguard washers. They're quite good. They're 24 millimeter wide, two millimeter deep, or you can use the M12s, which are quite good as well for a 26 mil. That's a standard M12. And handy, you have a, a gauge, measuring gauge, a burner. Something pointy. <laughs> and a rag, which I don't have at the moment, but I'll get one before we go to the other camera. And I've already got some epoxy. gun so we're ready to go. Oh, you may ask how deep do I set the knot? Well that's a personal choice thing. I like my knots or brushes soft and floppy so I set them quite high. So just above the bung is where I set my knot which is about um, 12 to 14 millimeter is enough for, for most of my knots. So if you want your brush to be firmer, you set it deeper and it, it artificially it compresses the, the, the knot and it makes it um, appear like it's got some more backbone. This is particularly the case with badger knots. Now I don't use badger knots much, uh, so all my knots are synthetic, just about. Alright, so that's just a bit of extra information. And uh, we'll progress to the other camera. Okay, we're at the overhead camera. Ready to go. Got my epoxy gun. Brush handle, knot, washers, something pointy, bit of a rag. Okay, first thing to do is measure how deep the hole is with the verna. I've got that at about 15 mil. Now I like to set my knots around 12 to 14 mil deep. So I have about a, for a 70 mil knot, I have about a 56 uh, loft, 56 millimeter loft. So what we'll do, we'll probably just put one washer in. 
they are too mildewy, these um, big ones, like that, and that should be enough, so I'll just test that. Nice and lofty. Oop, it fell out. <laughs> All right. Next thing we do is I use one of these hair bands put around the knot to keep it compressed without doing any damage because these are quite soft. Borrow this from my wife, like that. It keeps them compressed and out of the way. So just make sure it's not twisted in any way. All right, that should be right. Now, we'll take that out. We'll put some silicon in the bottom. Started. You might say, why don't I use the this thing? Well, it's all dried out in there, so I'll just use my screwdriver. To put it around. So spread that around the bottom. it down nice and firm and we put some more silicon over the top of that I want to keep the silicon down in there so I'll just try wipe that little bit out that's on the edge right. that's probably going to be enough we don't want too much we don't want the, the glue to go up too far around the sides We want to keep it to the bung of the knot if we can. Yeah, that looks looks like enough. I'm just making sure it goes around the edge so we get a good seal we don't want water to go underneath the, the knot so it's sort of a compromise so we'll push that in give it a little, few little twists to get the new one we move around and that's it we just leave that to dry I'm just making sure it's got it pushed in yeah that should be right so we'll leave that for a few hours and then we should be able to take that rubber band off 
and it should be set. But it's not completely cured. I leave it for about a week to cure. Uh, just to make sure. And then you should be right to go. Making it wet. Right, I forgot to mention. You don't want the, the knot set so the bung is showing. You want it to have a nice firm uh, grip on the knot at the top. And also, you don't want any of the glue to come out the top. So if any glue comes out here, I would suggest pulling it all out, cleaning it all up and starting again. Because you don't want any glue coming out the top. So, that's it. Cheers.